Hello primary six and primary seven. So I'm going to show you how we're going to keep making music at home and how we're going to keep our skills moving forward. This being Digi Day, I have the perfect app. If I can just have a wee look at this, this is the kind of thing we were doing at school and we were learning our chords and we were doing it on keyboard and we were doing it on guitar and we were doing it on ukulele. Um, so over here, I have found an app. This is a free app. It's called Perfect Piano. See? There we go. Um, you can download it, as I said, for free. You can upgrade it. You can upgrade it um, for, I think it's £4.75. And it would let you do an awful lot more things. And it's a really, really good app. But you don't need to. You don't need to buy it. We can do what we want to do just like this. So... Uh, back over here, I am going to touch Perfect Piano and hopefully it will open up. Having major, major, major internet problems on DigiD, which is perfect. Aha, here we are. Now, when you get, could, just back a wee bit, when you get Digi Piano opened up, Perfect Piano opened up, there's, it's a bit like GarageBand. You've got all these different icons, so they all do different things. Some of them you would really need to have bought the full thing for, for them to work learn to play the lessons in this are sp supposed to be really really good so if this is something you're enjoying doing then see if somebody would maybe get you the the full app you can also do multiplayer games and you can connect with people and um, i don't know if it works the way it does when you're doing your uh, games on xboxes and things like that but it looks to me not that i'm an expert as if you would be able to connect up with each other and even do things together which I need to look into because we might be able to then have, I don't know, an online band. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to click this. Boom. And there's your keyboard. And it works exactly like a keyboard. You will notice that the notes have all got their names on them. And there's different colours. That's because each octave has got its own colour. So if I, go, if I move this highlighted area all the way down here, I get the lowest octave, exactly like a piano. And again, I can move it all the way to the very, very top and I get the highest octave. So I've got the full range of a piano. The only problem is I don't have it all at once. So I've got to work within a set range. And that set range for us is back down here at middle C. Now, middle C on the piano is when you're sitting right in the middle of it or the keyboard. For us, on this app, it's going to be the lime green, the lime green notes. So the lime green, C4, D4, the fourth octave is the octave we're working mostly with. Uh, I'm going to look at somewhere over, over the rainbow with you because that's the song that um, we've been using as the thank you song for all our frontline workers and those of you that were able to tune in for the ukes if you have a wee look over here you'll see this we make music for the nhs.weebly.com if you put that into your search engine you will get um oh i should do it right now actually shouldn't i if i do it you'll be able to watch me do it that would be cool so if i come on to this this is the school laptop so if I do that, because I've been on it already, yeah, we make music. It comes up like this. There you are. And there we go. And it tells you all the different instruments you can buy, you can get the parts for. It's not buy, by the way, it's, it's free. You download it free. And in amongst it, you've got piano, keyboard, voice, percussion. So we're going to do, we're going to click on that. You'll notice there's also guitar and ukulele. So you can get guitar and ukulele parts and there's backing tracks. So you can actually get backing tracks. I'm going to go to piano and keyboard just to show you. And if I bring it down, there's the keyboard parts and you can download the file. So, and there's your music coming up now. Any minute. Okay, it's taking time. There we go, hooray. So this is what I've uh, sent to Miss McCulloch and that's what you can access it looks like this and it shows you it shows you all your chords cameraman's a bit dodgy it Show, shows you all your chords and all the notes so unfortunately the notes 
don't have the names on them to match up with the with your keyboard here but i can do that for you i can put that on and i will do that but back to this back to this because this is what we're going to have a look at um if i lie it flat it's exactly like sitting at a little keyboard and we can practice our chords now if, if i have a wee look up at this board we were doing these chords we did the c major chord and that was when you put your thumb on the c your middle finger on E and your pinky on G. So I can I can actually practice doing that exact thing on this app. Thumb, middle finger, pinky, and get the chord of C major. The next chord we're going to need is the chord of A minor, our sad chord. So again, I can put my thumb on the A, my middle finger on the C, and my pinky on the E. And I've got the chord of A minor. The next chord we're going to need is the chord of E minor. So I'm going to bring my hand up the keyboard to find the E. And I'm going to put my thumb on the E, my middle finger on the G, and my pinky on the B. And there's my chord of E minor. The next chord I'm going to need is the chord of F major. So I'm going to move my thumb up from E to F. And there's the A, and there's the C. And that's the chord of F major. The next chord we're going to need is the chord of G major. So I'm going to move my hand up one more space, and I'm going to have G, B, D. So the last three chords I played were E minor, F major, and G major. Now, I know you don't have this board at home with this all laid out for you, but you don't need that because all you need to know is that the note you start on is where you put your thumb. So if I'm playing the chord of E minor, I want to put my thumb on the E. And then if you remember, it's play a note, miss a note, play a note, miss a note, play a note. So I can actually work out what notes to play without knowing, without remembering. And then I can learn it. E, G, B. The last three chords I played, I started in an E. All I need to do is move up one. F, A, C. Move up one for my G major chord. G, B, D. So I'm going to quickly recap these chords. This is going to get sent to you in two halves, by the way. So this first wee bit is just a wee introduction to the app and how to find these chords and then I'm going to send you another wee chunk on how it works with uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So back down here for this first wee bit. So my chords are the chord of C major. I'm going to put my thumb on the C. Miss a note. Play the E. Miss a note. Play the G. That's the first thing to practice. Then A minor. I'm going to come down to my, the A below middle C. So I'm showing the two, it's a yellowy cream colour. I need to see this low A. A, miss a note, C, miss a note, E. There's my A minor. And then I'm going up to the E minor. So I'll come back up to my E, E, G, B. Bring everything up one space and play F, A, C for an F major chord. F, A, C, F major. Bring everything up one space. Bass for a G major chord, G, B, D, G. It is a little bit footery. It's not quite as easy as a keyboard that's not quite as spaced out. And then I actually found that I could play this very comfortably just using my, my thumb, my pointing finger and my middle finger. And I was tending to be more accurate um, just because of the spacing being quite small on a laptop. You can also download it on your phone. It's it's even more footery on a phone because it's tiny. But uh, if you can download this app and you can get a hold of that music, I will be able to teach you somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, primary six and seven. So here we go. Second half of our um, DJ keyboard lesson. So if you've got the app, uh, Perfect Piano, and you've got the copy of the music, You've got everything you're going to need. I have, I don't know if you can see up nice and close, I've put in the names of the notes. 
uh, which I'll tell you a wee bit about in a minute. This is so that you can play the tune. Now, I have also sent a photograph, a PDF of that to Miss McCulloch, and I've asked if she doesn't mind sharing that. So you'll be able to get a copy of that too and have exactly what I've got. So somewhere over the rainbow, four beats in the bar, and if you have a look at the music, apart from bar one, all the other bars have only got one chord in each bar. See that? So it means we're going to do, uh, we're going to play two chords for each bar and we're going to give each chord two beats. And how, what I mean by that is in, chord, in bar one, we're going to have a C and that's going to last for two beats. One, two, and then it's the A minor for two beats. One, two. And in this bar, instead of holding it for four counts, we're going to play one, two, three, four. So we play E minor twice. And in this bar, we're going to play F twice. One, two, three, four. And then back down to C. One, two, three, four. So if you want to see what my hand's doing, I'm doing it with my right hand. And uh, we've already talked about the chords. We've already talked about your thumb, your middle finger and your pinky. So I've got my thumb on the C, middle finger on E, my pinky on G. And I'm going to start. Three, four, C for two beats. A minor for two beats. E minor, two, three, four. F, one, two, three. Four, then C. One, two, three, four. Then F. One, two, three, four. Then C. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, three, four. C. Two, three, four. Now the beauty of that is it takes you around the main theme. And the main theme is repeated. So you've got the tune. That's repeated. And then there's the wee bit in the middle that you know. I'm not going to play it all just now because we haven't talked about it. But you know that wee bit. And then it goes back and it does the same tune again. So if you can play the chords for the eight bars that we did right at the start of this, you can play three quarters of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So let's just try that. You've got your thumb on the C. Your middle finger on the E, your pinky on the G, and we're going to play a C, then an A minor, and then we're going to play two E minors in this bar, two Fs in this bar, two Cs, two Fs, two Cs, two Gs, two Cs. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. C for two, A minor. And three, then an F, F, two, three, four, down to C, one, two, three, back to F, F, two, three, four, then a C, one, two, and three, four, G, two, and three, four, and C, two, three, four. So, if you want to play the actual song note, the tune, let's have a look at what I've done. I have got a wee line to show when it's low C or middle C, and a wee line to show when it's high C. So, if we look at the keyboard, our song starts with a low C and goes to a high C. And I can do that by playing low C with my thumb, and high C with my pinky. And if I keep my hand hovering 
there with all my fingers just ready over the notes. So I've got C, B, A, G, F. If I keep my fingers just over these notes, I'm ready to do the next wee bit. Because the next wee bit says B, G, A, B, C. And if you look, the G, A, B, C are all beside each other. So if I do that on the keyboard, I've got low C, high C, B, G, A, B, C. And then I'm going to bring my hand down, back down to low C. The music goes from low C to A to G. Way up high. So there's my hand, there's my thumb on the C. My pinky reaches the A, and my next finger, my ring finger, can play the G. So the first four bars, low C, high C, B, G, A, B, C. Back down to low C, then an A, then a G. Now this is where you need to have your keyboard properly set up using your wee adjuster that's highlighted. I have got mine so that I can play a low A. That's the A below middle C that some of our glockenspiels have got. And I've also got the D above high C. So if, if you remember, there's eight notes in an octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's an octave from middle C to high C. I've got the B and the A below it and the D above it because I'm going to need these notes to play the rest of the song. So let's just go back and do the first four bars again. Thumb and middle C, that's C4. One, two, three, four. Low C, high C, B, G, A, B, C. Back down, low C, A, G, two, three, four, now, low A. And that's when I'm going to have to move my thumb down to this low A. Then an F. E, C, D, E, F. Can you see that my hand was ready so that all my fingers could just play these notes? So I played an A with my thumb, the F with my pinky, and it meant my fingers were ready to do E, C, D, E, F. And the next wee bit says D, and if you have a wee quick look at the music, it's a low B, D, B, C, D. D, low B, E, C. So let's just very, very, very quickly have a look at from the second half, you've got the low A with your thumb and then your pinky on the F. Your fingers are all set up to do E, C, D, E, F. And you can see these notes all run in a wee row, one after each other. D, down to low B. That's why you need the low B. B, C, D, E. These are all low down notes, all in easy reach of each other. So super fast, I'm going to play you from the low A. Okay, three, four, A, F, on my hands please, E, C, D, E, F, D, B, C, D, E, C. So there you go. That's the chords and the actual melody for the main theme of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Get practicing.